When you can't find a specific word in a student's language system on their speech generating device, what options do you have? Before you add a word to a student's AEC system, consider the following possibilities with the student and their team. Rather than adding a word to an AAC system, first consider using descriptive talking, teaching, and testing to talk about content-specific vocabulary and concepts. Descriptive teaching is a way to teach academic vocabulary and concepts using core words and other high-frequency vocabulary. Instead of asking questions that require a single word response with content-specific vocabulary, Descriptive teaching provides a way in which AAC learners can talk about the concepts and terminology with vocabulary that is already on their device. Descriptive talking, teaching, and testing is especially important for AAC learners who do not yet have well-established communication skills. Before we add academic vocabulary to their AAC system, we need to help them establish a foundation for language and communication. To learn more about descriptive teaching, visit the AAC Language Lab for helpful tips and resources. It might not be appropriate to add all fringe or extended vocabulary to a student's AAC system, but what if the AAC learner and their team decide this is the best option? There are several things to consider when adding words to a student's language system. First and foremost, adding fringe or extended vocabulary to an AAC system should be driven and directed by the AAC learner. If the individual using AAC requests to have a specific fringe word added to their vocabulary, you should honor this request. Next, consider if the word will be used in a variety of contexts and environments. If the word in question can and will be used by the AAC communicator in many environments such as home, school, and in the community, it might be worth adding the word to their AAC system. Is the word personal and relevant to the student? Let's consider the sport lacrosse as an example. Lacrosse might be relevant for one student if they play lacrosse, enjoy watching lacrosse, or like talking about lacrosse with friends. For this student, rather than having them describe lacrosse with several words on their device, net on stick, catch ball with net, get goal, we can add the word to their device so they can efficiently talk about lacrosse. Will the word be used for months and years to come as opposed to only a few weeks for a specific unit at school? Take the word habitat, for example. This word is typically learned in elementary school, but will be used throughout an individual's school career to talk about where animals and other organisms live. Habitat is considered a subject-specific word used across various curriculums and grade levels versus a lesson-specific word only used once or twice for a specific lesson or concept. Since habitat is a concept that is built on each year in school, this is a word that might be appropriate to add to an AAC learner's device. Now that you have considered where the target word will be used, how the target word will be used, and for how long, it is time to add that word to the AAC communicator's device. Where do you add a new word in a vocabulary? Also many things to consider here. First, it is advised not to add a new word to the home screen of a student's vocabulary or language system. PRC Saltillo language systems, such as Lamp Words for Life, Word Power, and Unity are core word based, with core words making up the majority of the language system's home screen. Adding words to the home screen could cause the current organization and structure of the language system to become disorganized and confusing for the AAC learner. Let's program the word habitat into our AAC communicator's language system. Remember, we can consider adding this subject-specific word once our communicator's language skills are firmly established and they are ready to expand their vocabulary. Think about which category or word family the target word might belong to. Follow the organizational structure of your language system. 
For word power vocabulary files, we might program the word habitat within one of the categories within the groups pages. You could program habitat into the nature page as this page has many places animals might live, as well as things found in a habitat. You could also program habitat on the animal homes page. You can get to animal homes from any of the animal buttons in groups. Since habitat is essentially an animal home, let's program habitat on this page. Then the student will be able to access the word habitat from any of the animal pages just by programming this one button on the Animal Homes page. To do so, first go to any of the animal buttons within groups. I am going to go to the Wild Animals page. Animal Homes is on the far right side under Colors in WordPower 60 Basic. Next, edit the page and choose an empty button to program the word Habitat. Type in the word habitat and select an image for your button. You can choose to leave the body color of the button white or copy the light green color of the other icons that are also places on the Animal Homes page. Be sure to select save to save your changes. Since you programmed the word habitat on one of the Animal Homes pages, your AAC learner can now access habitat on the Animal Homes page from any Animal Groups button in WordPower. For Lamp Words for Life or Unity vocabulary files, you'll notice that the button with the picture of the dog is labeled with the word come. In keeping with the organizational structure of these vocabularies, Words associated with animals can be found when you select this button. Let's program habitat under the word come for both of these language systems. Let's program habitat in the LAMP Words for Life app. First, select come on the home page. We might not want to program habitat to one of the empty buttons here as there is an animal homes page in the top row. Programming habitat on the Animal Homes page is more descriptive, since a habitat is a place where animals live and is part of an animal's home. Select Homes in the top row of Lamp Words for Life full. You will see various animal homes already programmed. Select an empty button on this page to program the word habitat. Type in the word habitat and select an image for your button. Be sure to select Save to save your changes. If you want to program the word Habitat in Unity 84 sequenced on an Accent device, you can program Habitat in the same place under the word Come using the same sequence as Lamp Words for Life. Remember, not all words need to be added to your AAC Communicator's speech generating device. Try using descriptive teaching or talking first. If you find your student is talking about the same thing or the same word over and over again using descriptive talking, have a conversation with them to determine if adding the word to their AAC system is appropriate. 